All right, on the real, this movie kind of had me scared. Nerd soul. Lay ill kid at one yard, the hone it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we're coming with another wonderful episode, of course, movie reviews. And before we get started, I gotta say happy holidays to y'all. I'm glad y'all are having a good time. And while you're having a good time, go on and slide over to shop.thatnerdsoul.com. 20% off all weekend on Earth Thing. Get yourself a shirt, get yourself a hat, get yourself something for them playettes and them players. Now, let's get back to the movie, which is Tunnel. And of course, this is another Netflix movie, so I'll be spoiling it, talking about just my favorite things, because this movie is the hotness. I don't even know why it has such a low rating on Netflix, but this movie's got some straight up moments that I think are dope. And one of the first moments is after we find out that this is, you know, a regular man driving down the street, he works for Kia Motors, he's just living his business life. He goes through this tunnel that collapses on him and the moment, the reason this is so crazy and scary for me is how the tunnel collapses. The way they use the effects, it's, it's like you're riding with him um, because they shoot it from like the passenger side or whatever and then they shoot it out of the back window as well and the way it just caves in, the way it just engulfs his car with just stone and wire and everything, it's scary. Like, you know, you pull for this guy straight out because He's just one, it's one of those wrong place, wrong time things. It, you know, it is, it's, it's sad because he's just, you know, he hasn't done anything to deserve this. He's not a bad person. He's not, he hasn't done anything to anyone. He just happens to be driving down the street. And the way it just closes in around him, the way the car kind of like smashes and like it does a jump cut and everything. It's, yo, it's scary. It really is scary. And it had me thinking about, all the tunnels that I've driven through, you know, whether like on the East Coast or the West Coast, you know, there's there's tunnels that I've driven through and just imagining, especially the tunnels that go underwater, like, you know, just imagining that closing in plus the water and just immediate death. Whew, I'm sorry if you guys are driving through tunnels right now or in a subway tunnel or something, just, I'm sorry. But this movie scared me in a very real way. Another moment is when you finally get the first response from the news. We get, since this is a Korean film, we get to see kind of like a different way. I mean, it, it's handled similar because news around the world is, you know, they've got their similar things that they do, but it was interesting to see how they handled it, how they, how quickly they brought in the wife, um, how they were talking about him and his job and, and like, you know, things that just didn't matter about, you know, building another tunnel. And it, it, it just seemed like, wow, you guys, don't get it, do you? And even up to the point where they were talking about the shoddy construction and doing some research on the Hado tunnel and how they use the, the, the wrong materials or whatever to actually make the tunnel work, there was just kind of like this lazy journalism that was going on, but it was real because you can see this type of reporting happen in real life. You know, something like this happens, you're gonna get like the surface level stuff like, oh, you know, uh, how's his wife doing? Or how's, you know, how are the people at his job doing? And it's like, dude, th like, it's a human in there. Like, we're not talking about a thing. There's a human in here and we gotta like really deal with this. And I also liked how they drove home the point of, the, the police chief that was really like a shining star in this, uh, kind of pushing to remind people, there's a, a, there's a man alive down there that needs our help and we're giving up on him. Now, of course, let's talk about Lee because he's the man that's actually in the tunnel. Uh, you get to see the character of a man that's really trying to hold on. Um, and you see him devolve, man. You see him go from like, you know, okay, they said it'll take a day or two, you know, maybe three days. I can make this, I can do this. And then going further to we like, we can't find where you're at. We're not sure we're drilling in the wrong place. And he slowly starts to go crazy. Now, the good thing about this is that he finds, I believe Mina or Mia, I think it's Mina, um, while he's down there, she's in another trap car. But sadly, my thing about Mina is, she sort of mattered to me, but ultimately she didn't. It's weird because I kind of, 
I kind of would have enjoyed him on his own because you know, Mina, and this is no diss to Mina, man. She's, you know, she's in a car trap too. But I was just like, yo, man, you using up my water, B. I, right? you using up my materials, my resources, my food, man. I don't need to be sharing right now. I got to conserve. But it's understandable. And we get to see some more humanity through Lee by the way he cares for this young girl who essentially is just dying. And like, we all know it and she doesn't know it yet and it's sad man it really i think that's another one of those things where it's like one more straw on the camel's back for lee as he's waiting and you know trying to figure out how to handle that how to handle her dog that was in the car with her you know just trying to wait it out and he was in there for like 30 something days and you see him finally break down and when he breaks down man that acting is incredible now of course i'm gonna go a little bit further into how i feel about a couple of the other characters but of course first kiro brand gonna help us pay them bills Yeah, it's what I'm talking about. If you like what you see, holla at the link below, curobrand.com. See a shirt that you like, cop it. Now, let's talk about the corporation who, and, and everybody else that just wanted to be in on the story, which is kind of real. You know, you see these situations where everybody just wants to be there for the photo op, you know what I'm saying? Or you have the journalist that just wants the story and nobody really cares about the fact that this guy is like clinging on to like his last drip drop of water inside a tunnel, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got the you got the state department trying to, you know, get the photo op in front of the guy or like right in front of the drilling or you got the company trying to be like, yes, we care because we're out here drilling. Yeah, let's not forget that you're drilling to save someone that wouldn't need to be saved if you use the proper materials to build the tunnel in the first place, but we ain't going there. And I think another shining star besides Lee, besides the chief, is the wife, man. She's she's kind of like that silent scorer. She's that role player. She's She brings a lot of heart to this role that you don't expect, man, because it kind of comes from left field where you're like, whoa, yeah, man. Like she really, she really expressed a lot without saying much because you got to see her demeanor, her facial expressions, her body posture. And you put that all together in a dope package in a film about, about holding on, about caring about people, about our society caring about each other, about corporations that do wrong, state departments that do wrong, you got opportunists, and you got people that really want to lend a helping hand. And you got a film that I'm gonna straight up give four stars. I mean, there's a lot to like about this. There's a lot to enjoy. Uh, there's a lot of heart. There's some moments where you can bust out laughing. There's some moments that are scary and it just really comes together and makes you makes you pull for Lee, makes you pull for the heroes of the story, the first responders, makes you care about each phone call, each radio broadcast. And that's kind of hard to do in a movie where you're pretty much in one place. Um, it does get long for me. I will say that there's there's a moment, I guess, close to the end where it feels like you finally start to wonder, like, how long is this movie? But yo, man, on the real, overall, very enjoyable. And a film that I think you should check out on Netflix, it is definitely worth it. So guys, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about, of course, Tunnel, what you think about it. And what's another movie like Tunnel or Train of Busan that I should be checking out? So before I bounce, I gotta tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all of that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player and don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. Now, of course, LA, what up? V, what up? RVA, you got my heart. So please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, yo, safety first when you're building. Peace.